Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nintendo 2DS. I picked this up for $80 at my local GameStop. Okay, I like the packaging. Definitely going to put that on my shelf somewhere. Nice blues, reds, got a nice picture of Mario on it. Next, let's see what's inside the box. Of course, you have your manual. And actually, there are some AR cards. We'll go over those in a second. And as always, in every unboxing video on YouTube, you just throw the instructions to the side. Nobody ever reads that. Now, the AR cards, think of it as mini games. What you do is you use your 2DS, your 2DS's camera to view the AR cards. So you'll see in a second, there will be a picture of Mario. So you look at Mario through your 2DS, it'll present sort of a mini game with Mario. He'll be jumping all over the screen, you can play with him. If that's your cup of tea, enjoy. This is pre-packaged with several AR cards for you to enjoy. I do know that people do like to collect them, so save them, they might be worth something in a bit. And now we have the AC adapter. I will say that the wire is very long. I bought an Insignia power cable for my 3DS and it was not very long. With this cable, you're, you're able to play while it's hooked up. And next we have the actual system itself. When you pull it out, it's not too heavy. It feels like a toy, but then again, remind yourself that it is an entry level 2DS system. So you're not getting a premium system here. Other than that, the color is nice, nice blue. You got the stylus there. Your volume button here. And the R and L buttons, as well as a spot to put your game into and the power cable. A little dust on the screen there. and it actually had some power, it was able to boot right up, right out of the box. What's up guys? So I went ahead and started playing the 2DS. Played it for about a whole day. I played Mario 3D Land. Uh, to be honest, the 2DS, I don't know if it's just me, because I really only ever played with the 3DS XL. I think that the top screen has an absolutely better image quality than the XL. Okay, that might be due to the smaller screen again, you're not getting those stretched pixels. The bottom screen is, is sort of a screen there with a screen above it, sort of a protector screen. It actually still works great, the touch screen works fine. You put in your letters, names, everything, it all works perfectly. And like I said, the top screen, I'm really impressed with the top screen. Things like the buttons, everything is not as responsive as you would find on the 3DS XL, but that's to be expected. I mean, this is more of a, an economy model. You're not gonna get the same quality there. But again, it's still doable. You'll still be able to play all your games. The R and L buttons, a little bit uncomfortable for me, sort of when I'm doing the, the drifting on Mario Kart. Took some getting used to, but not a big issue at all. The sound quality was great. I didn't mind it. It's just mono sound, which that's fine. Uh, again, the SD card you put it over here. I didn't mind that. The stylus works great. The battery life is good as well. I still haven't charged it, but again, it's only been a day. So that's fine. Again, really impressed with it. Definitely recommend it to anyone who's interested in the library of the DS and 3DS, but you're not trying to spend too much money. Pick this up for $80, good investment. Take care and I'll see you for the next unboxing.